North Korea. Voted Korea of the Year by North Korea magazine for the past three decades. <laughs> A few years ago, most people thought the only way the world was gonna end was if North Korea's marshmallow dictator decided to kick off a nuclear apocalypse. But since then, we've all learned that there are actually many ways the world could end. It could be a global pandemic. It could be Russia starting a world war. It could be Apple letting you edit iMessages. I didn't say that. So obviously, people haven't been paying as much attention to North Korea lately, which is probably why Kim Jong-un has decided to remind us that he still exists. We're gonna turn to North Korea, launching a new round of missile tests. The regime firing off eight rockets over the weekend in the U.S. and South Korea launching missiles in response in a show of force. The U.S. and South Korea sent eight surface-to-surface -surface missiles into the sea. That's after North Korea did the same just hours earlier. There is no direct communication that we know of between the Biden administration and the North Korean regime. So instead, both sides seem to be communicating through missile launches. Huh. The U.S. and North Korea are communicating using missile launches? That's adorable. <laughs> it really is. It's so different. Missile, missile, you up? Missile, missile, nah. -uh. No, for real, it actually sounds like a couple that really needs therapy, you know? It's just like, and what do you do when she shuts you out? I launch missiles. <laughs> and what are we supposed to do? Talk to the UN. <laughs> you know, people say that black people and white people can't get along, but I don't know what hope there is in the world if North and South Korea can't even get along. Yeah, they're both Korean, looking at the other one like, these Koreans, man! <laughs> And you know who I feel really bad for? Those missiles. Yeah, the missiles that were shot into the ocean. Because think about it. They think they have a specific purpose to blow up in glorious combat, but then they just end up being used for a show. Must hurt their feelings. <laughs> it's like being a condom that gets put on a banana for sex ed class. <laughs> I was meant for greater things, damn it! <laughs> no, but joking aside, though, joking aside, I want to be serious for a moment here. Because let me get this straight. North Korea and South Korea and the United States are now launching missile after missile into the ocean, but I'm not allowed to use plastic straws? Huh? <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? I'm out here trying to do my part using a straw that dissolves the second I put it into my drink. <laughs> the second I put it in. It's gone. I don't even know what I'm drinking in. What are you having, Trevor? Oh, a tequila paper mache. <laughs> yeah, I saved the turtle, the one that got shot by a ballistic missile. <laughs> I mean, what does the ocean have to do with our beef, huh? Those creatures are down there just trying to live their lives. They don't need to deal with missiles from human conflicts. Can you imagine what it's like for them? Ariel, life is better under the sea. <laughs> we roll in the waves, the fish swim in the seaweed. We're... Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Everybody's dead! Everybody's dead! The fish are all dead under the sea. Ariel don't got no legs or a head. And the worst part is having my accent makes me sound jolly even when I'm not. This is where I wish I was from Germany. This accent doesn't convey the tragedy of this terrible crime that's happened under the sea. <laughs> but enough about those <laughs> North Korean missile strikes. There are bigger threats here at home, people, that we need to deal with. And yes, I'm talking about the danger of trans children playing sports, which luckily lawmakers in Ohio are ready to take a really hard look at. So as we enter Pride Month, the GOP-controlled Ohio State Legislature passing one of the most extreme trans sports bans we've seen to date. Uh, that bill, including a shocking provision that calls for examining the genitals of female athletes who are, quote, accused of being trans. The proposed rules would prohibit any trans girl from competing with cisgender girls. It also has a verification requirement if somebody is accused of being trans. The bill says if someone is suspected to be trans, she must go through evaluations of her external and internal genitalia, testosterone levels, and genetic makeup. Yeah, that's right, America. You asked lawmakers to protect your kids from guns, and they said, we got you. 
we're gonna look at your kid's genitals. Uh, I feel like there was a miscommunication there. Because which one do you think is more traumatizing to your kid? Honest question. What do you think is more traumatizing to a child? Them losing a race in high school? Or them winning the race and then having to get probed by a doctor to see if their genitals are what, the right size? Because it's bad enough to target trans girls, but you, you understand this law actually targets all girls, right? Or at least all the girls who are too good at the sport. Yeah, because you know how this is gonna turn out. I've seen enough American parents beating each other up at little league games to know that this is gonna be weaponized to win a game. It's only a matter of time before a softball pitcher strikes out three girls in a row, and then a parent's gonna rush the field like, genital check! No way she's throwing 95 with two X chromosomes! No ways! Show me that <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Who are they gonna find to do these examinations, huh? Who's even gonna do this? What, every dude wearing one of those female body inspector T-shirts? Are they gonna be drafted into service now? No, it was just a joke. I don't actually have any training in this area. So, obviously, you understand why there's backlash to this bill. In fact, some doctors in Ohio are saying that they refuse to investigate children's genitals as part of this law. Yeah. Which... <laughs> is good, but... <laughs> I mean... I also don't agree with it, you know? If they wanted to stand back and do nothing to keep our kids safe, then they should have become police officers. All right, finally. <laughs> too true, too real? <laughs> All right, finally, as you may know, a couple of weeks from now, America will be celebrating Juneteenth, the holiday commemorating the end of slavery, or as Tucker Carlson would put it, the day millions of African Americans became unemployed. <laughs> Is that progress? <laughs> anyway. Because Juneteenth is now a federal holiday, more people are celebrating than ever before. The only problem is not everyone knows the best way to celebrate. Walmart is under fire for selling Juneteenth products that some people say are tone deaf and insensitive. The products have been lambasted by many online after pictures of Juneteenth ice cream and party supplies surfaced. The Children's Museum of Indianapolis is apologizing after backlash to a Juneteenth inspired food item in its cafeteria. The museum offered the Juneteenth watermelon salad. The museum released a statement saying, in part, as a museum, we apologize and acknowledge the negative impact that stereotypes have on communities of color. Oh, this shit pisses me off so much. How are you gonna make a Juneteenth ice cream, huh? I hope they took it all off the shelves and they got rid of it. In fact, I don't trust them. I hope they send it here to The Daily Show and I'll... <laughs> I'll deal with it personally. Oh, every single one of those ice cream. And any other ideas they have for ice cream, they better send them here. <laughs> Just what a random... What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you know, apart from the watermelon black people stereotypes, it's amazing to me how America does this. Like, they turn every meaningful holiday into an excuse to spend money. Like, that's part of the problem here. <laughs> you don't need to sell things for Juneteenth. Juneteenth wasn't even a mainstream thing last year. Think about it. But now, already, they've turned it into a day of merch. And, and look, I mean, I, I'm not hating. You know, we, we, we do it, too, here on the show. Yeah, I mean, this whole segment is brought to you by Taco Bell's brand-new flaming Juneteenth gorditas. <laughs> Taco Bell, emancipate your taste buds. <laughs> All right, that's it for the headlines. But before we go, let's check in on traffic with our very own Roy Wood Jr., everybody! <laughs> What up, boy? What's up, boy? Good to see you all, Good to see you. Good to be here. So, Good to uh, be here, man. Let's, let's jump start, into it, Roy. What's happening in the traffic? Let's jump into these roads. Real, real, real quick, though, before I do the traffic. You got something you want to say to me? Uh, uh, good evening, Roy. You don't, you don't have nothing to say to me? Nothing like... L like what? Like, I was right? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to tell me I was right? But you, you remember what I said last week? On the show? Yes, on the show. Remember last week we was talking about the, the, the Biden and was sending all the weapons to Ukraine and Russia and oh, all yeah, that. Oh yeah, the Russian, the Russian. And thing, I said yeah. all we had to do to get Russia to slow down was just buck a couple of missiles in the air, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> and then what North Korea do? What they do? Oh, they shot the missiles. And then what we do? We shot the missiles back. Did North Korea shoot a missile back after we shot that missile? After they shot that missile? No, they did not. I was right. That's what I told you. <laughs> I was right. And you don't remember that. No, you, no, but you look, show him the picture. Show him the picture. What? That's me. <laughs> That's me being right last week. 
That's me last week being right. That is you being right. Yeah, man. I got some yeah. lot, of, lot of good ideas, man. Seems, seems like a good idea. But it's a good thing that somebody from the Biden administration is watching this show and got that idea from me. <laughs> and then when they shot the missiles back at North Korea. I don't, I don't know if that's happening. That's what you're supposed to do. When somebody act bad, you're supposed to... It's like boys in the hood. I can't oh, yeah, tell back, you. It's, boys, it's, it's like exactly Ice like... Cube and boys in the hood. We got a problem here? We got a problem? Matter of fact, let me talk to Biden. Which one? Give me one of these cameras. Did, did Joe Biden, shoot another missile. What? Shoot no. another missile, let him know. I got a lot of ideas, man. I got a lot of ideas. You're just gonna tell him to shoot? No, no more missiles. I didn't say hit the country. Just, you know, shoom, like, right past, you know? <laughs> no, no. No more missiles. What's, what's happening in the traffic? Oh, you want the traffic. That's my bad. What do you do the traffic? The, Here's the thing about that watermelon salad. Yes. <laughs> First of all, this is part of the problem with them trying to get CRT out of schools. Now they just slapping it on all the food and trying to sneak black history on you <laughs> in the middle of the damn day while you're trying to eat some salad. And that, that's, that's, that's just too much, man. So you, you, you don't want a Juneteenth salad? No. It, it, what, what, I, what I feel, dog, is that we tried with Juneteenth. We tried. We okay. tried to celebrate it collectively as a group. It didn't work. You got to give it back to black people. This is just ours. And we'll just take it and we'll just celebrate it by ourselves <laughs> with nobody else involved. It's just certain stuff that just got to stay black. We just got to keep it black. We tried. We just get certain stuff. It's just for us. It just don't make a share. We got to keep Juneteenth. We got to keep Kwanzaa. We got to keep Essence Festival. We'll take Bobby Brown. And it's just certain stuff. <laughs> it's ours. It's just ours. So the, the, the holiday would only be for black Americans then? No, it's not. F it's like, it's our holiday. It's a separate, but it's equal. <laughs> See, you're trying to throw me off. This is all I'm saying, man. I, I didn't say anything. No, I just all, I'm questions. all I'm saying is that you don't have to put history in everything. The salad looked good. That's the thing that was so sad about it. <laughs> had the little feta cheese, it had the vinaigrette in there. I you didn't that. have to put Juneteenth on it all. You had me at watermelon. <laughs> It's cool. I'm gonna do the traffic. You want me to do the traffic, man? Oh, I'm... man. Do we even have time for traffic? No, we... I mean, it's traffic, man. If you we don't, live we here, don't, don't, don't... It's messed up. If you... <laughs> if you know what that is, then you know not to go there. Don't go there. Back to you. Thank you so much. Where were Junior? 